Welcome back everyone, I'm your host Ileana Capion. I hope you're enjoying the start of another school year. This season we have some new members joining us and we are excited for everyone to get to know each other. Today on Austin's Angels you'll be learning a little more about your host and group chat, getting to try some new tasty recipes and cooking with Jesse, and getting a look at all the excitement that surrounds an APSU football game, so stay tuned! on camera this season. So we are going to start off with a new host telling us a little bit about themselves. Let's start with your names and majors. Kayla? Okay, well my name is Kayla Suttles. I am a communications major. My concentration is public relations and I just added a minor, which is event planning. I am the founder of Peace and Harmony, which is actually Austin Peace's first acapella group. So I'm super excited about it. Hopefully oh, it goes the way I want it to go. with us. <laughs> 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 Bless you with my focus eventually. Yay. But um, that's pretty much really me. Very fun. Hey, I'm Ray. Um, I'm a senior. I'm a broadcast media major. Um, I like photography. Um, yeah. You do a lot of photography? Yeah. Very yeah. nice. How about you? My name is Emil Williams, and I am a junior. And I am the president of the men's soccer club here. The first time it really got off the ground. And also, I'm a member of Scholars Leaders Gentlemen Society we're the sharpest brothers on campus. <laughs> oh, wow. So, soccer club, what is that about? Basically, the men here on campus do not have, you know, a place to play, you know, or a team together. So, we just have the NCAA regulated, you know, women's team. So, I was like, let's let's get the guys involved. And we have a lot of pe people that come out, play with us and enjoy it. We practice and we play different schools. Very cool. So it's kind of like an intramural thing, but you have a bigger... It's bigger. We actually play different schools. Like, um, we have a game coming up against Vandy. Very nice. Cool. Oh, cool. Well, it's time for group chat. So this semester is already weeks in, and so much has happened. But we're going to catch you up. So personally, I know the viewers know that I'm notorious for having tickets. Last semester, I had like four in the first couple weeks of the semester. This year, I got a phone call from campus police saying that I needed to move my vehicle or the city police is going to come and ticket it because really? I parked in the neighborhoods. Now, Would you... I don't know. <laughs> I understand, okay? I understand that people enjoy having like their parking space, I guess, their sidewalk that don't exist in Clarksville. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Like, So this lady lives literally on the street back there. Um, what is it? I don't, I don't know, the street back there in the neighborhood, whatever. Mm. And her neighbors are all college students. So everybody that lives there is a college student. And there's a part on the street that you cannot park on that's labeled, whatever. Right. Well, this lady went out and she bought um, a no parking sign and stuck it in her front yard. <laughs> Am I really going to pay attention to that? Probably not. I'll park oh, like yes. it. Yeah. <laughs> no. yes. It's like a Home Depot sign. Why am I going to pay attention to that? Like, you know? So, no. So I just parked there anyways. Whatever. I've been doing it since last year. Didn't get tickets last year. I also wasn't the only one parking there. Let me, let me throw that out there. <laughs> but uh, she threatened to call the city police on all the cars parked on that street. So we all got a nice phone call from campus police telling us to come move our cars. So shout out to campus police. I appreciate you for that. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's been, it's been interesting. Any interesting stuff with you guys? Well, I actually got a ticket the first freaking day of class. I was so mad. Because I was literally in there for like maybe 15 minutes. Y'all know it's the first day. So you're literally right. like go over the syllabus, maybe a few icebreakers and keep it moving. So I'm like, okay, I'm in and out. I got time, move my car. And I come out and I was like, what is this white paper? What is this? No, I thought they weren't supposed to take it the first I day. thought that too, but it was on my account. So mm. I guess I'm dead. Yeah. You can fight that. Probably you can. Have you fought any tickets? Yeah. I fought one. Um, and I got out of it. They're they're pretty nice about it. See, yeah. look, I don't even appeal stuff. tickets. Is yeah. it like... they, they have a website. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but they've got a website. They do, and sometimes at the end of the semester, they do like food drives, mm -hmm. and you can buy your way out of a ticket. Basically, like you bring in three canned food, mm -hmm. and you get your ticket removed. Well, I'm lucky. I haven't had any tickets, so 
Just Where do you them. park? You know, student parking. Where I'm supposed <laughs> to park? <laughs> Where I'm I park supposed to park. Student parking too. Well, what time do you get here? I live on campus, so it's uh, usually just uh, I just, see, just stay. I keep my car where it's at. Don't move it at all. Okay, so that doesn't count. Well, I'm lucky. Just, yeah, you, know. you are. You are very lucky. <laughs> I literally go back and forth through like the little football parking lot. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna freaking drive up this aisle. Okay, back up the other aisle, and I literally have to creep. Like, yes. okay, you coming out? Are you coming out? Mm -hmm. I'll even roll down my window like. You, you coming out? You leaving? Okay, well, let me bag up and give you some room and just pull Gracie on in. Gracie's Thanks for your, for your cars. Car. I do. I do. Gracie. Mine's is Maria. Maria? Maria. What's yeah. it like? It's, it's fiery red. No, wow. Said, what kind of car is this? It's, it's, it's like a, a Maria? Ford Focus. It's okay. Red Maria. Ford Focus. You can't miss me. <laughs> it's bright red. I do have a name for my car. It's Bailey. It's because the inside of the seats are like... Uh, Tan, you know, <laughs> it's okay. So it was because you know, like Bailey's the drink. Yes, yeah. that's why the inside of my car, the car seat <laughs> colors are that color. So it's Bailey. I don't know. Gracie's just Gracie. She just looks like a Gracie. Yeah. She graceful. Very, very. Yes, a lot. <laughs> you know, real gracefully. Do you have a name for your car? Yeah, I have a big old SUV. It's okay. a uh, GMC Envoy, and I call her Rhonda. Rhonda, uh, I yeah. love it. Okay. She's Rhonda. So, anything else? What else has happened on campus? Uh, I saw something happening today in the UC Plaza, but I was I was um, I was working scholarship hours with a professor, mm. so I, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what it was. I there think were, it was um, somebody was DJing or something. Yeah, it was a little. It's courtyard to, courtyard, court, courtyard for the Capitol Wednesdays. Yeah. I think that's what it's called. But they were like really really live. I kind of like how I feel like everyone always comes together during like the summertime or the beginning of the school year because it's hot. Right. and everything like that because when the winter comes everybody's gonna like go oh, yeah. but it was really really cool you can see people like with their friends they're just out there with their food or whatever mm -hmm. and the times are kind of convenient as well because it's the time where people normally go eat in the uc but it's just like music and fun and i try to stay away from the uc am i the only one that does that i haven't been there since <laughs> the school year started actually same well it's really packed now since there's so many freshmen and everyone's there now mm -hmm. i heard that because we have so many freshmen uh there's people living in hotels instead of dorms are they so how do they get from there's the... a shuttle there's a shuttle that takes them back and forth yep oh. i think every hour or something like that that's insane. Wow. I don't know. We've had a lot of freshmen. We've had the biggest freshman class of the year, and it's been crazy. But stay tuned, because up next, we have Cooking with Jesse. The military forces of the United States have been... Uh, commercial the Revolutionary War lost battles with yeah. heroes and statesmen. Our national unity was settled by the Civil War. America strode onto the world stage with the Spanish-American War and turned the tide in World War I. American military forces were instrumental in World War II and distinguished themselves in Korea and Vietnam. American military might led to victory in the Cold War and today has the lead in the global war on terror. Military art may be the art that enables all other arts to flourish. Study the history of that essential art. Earn an MA in military history at Austin Peay State University. Let's go pee! 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 let us go pee let us go pee let us go pee and also short-term study abroad opportunities for that student that can't afford to be gone for more than a few years. For one, you get an opportunity to live in a foreign country. I got to travel around Europe and have a great time all while learning a very college credit. Tremendously, tremendously mind-broadening. Foreign language, and um, I was always fascinated with the culture and the people. First-hand experience on the culture, I got to cook the food. So if you're looking for a great experience. Looking for a great experience? So if you're looking for a really great experience, come take a look. Come take a look. Come check out the study abroad program. I'm Jess. So 
what I think is really interesting about college is, you know, the whole saying, everyone in college is really broke, which we are. And so, you know, it's like weird when we spend all our money at KFC or at the UC or at Chick-fil-A, when really we can just go to Kroger or the grocery store and just bulk up on ingredients to make home recipes. And if you don't know how to make recipes, that's okay. We have Pinterest, you know, you have YouTube, there's cooking books, but I think cooking makes you an independent woman or an independent man. And so that's what I really like about this past year, you know, I've been living with my roommates and if I don't cook, then I'm not going to eat, you know, I'll starve. So I kind of had to teach myself slowly, very slowly, how to cook and not burn everything. So today we are going to go over a healthy and inexpensive way to cook in the kitchen. We're going to make kind of like a taco pepper. And so what we're going to have is we're going to have a pepper with meat in it and lettuce and vegetables. It's going to be really good. A little cheese. That's not super healthy, but that's okay. So when I bake, I like to go ahead and set the oven for the temperature I want early because that gives it enough time to get to the right temperature and it gets you so you can go cut the ingredients or you know get stuff ready while this is getting ready because it takes a good minute. And then the next thing I do, especially if I'm ever working anything with meat or just cooking in general, is I always like to wash my hands because you don't want to get anything on your hands that's nasty. I'm going to get scrub in. So now I'm going to go to the fridge and get all my ingredients. I have to get my pepper, ooh, nice and orange, and my pre-made meat in my cute little container. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the ingredients for the top. The lettuce and the tomato and the cheese. Super good. So like I talked about earlier, it's cheaper to just buy meat that you can use one time and then freeze or refrigerate later because it's just easier and cheaper. So this is turkey meat. I chose turkey meat because it's cheaper than um, red meat like beef and steak. Um, so I just like it because it's a little leaner. Um, when I made this, I put onions in it. So I just chopped up onions and put it on the pan with it. And the ingredients I put in it, I put cumin and onion powder and salt and pepper and it just makes it really tasteful and it's really good. So that's the meat and it lasts for about a week, a week and a half. Don't go after that otherwise that's nasty. And so this is the pepper. Obviously you see that it's orange. So fun fact about peppers is that they're all the same pepper. So green is when it originally is ripe and so that's why they're cheaper. And then it goes yellow and orange and red and so that's why this is more expensive than the green one because this one's sweeter. So I always kind of like if they're on sale I always get the colored peppers better than the green peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my stuff out of the cabinet. So I have my cute little strawberry cutting board and my pan and my coconut oil. So when I was making my meat earlier this week, I used coconut oil. So this is a substitute for butter or, or just olive oil. I really like this stuff you, and it's so versatile. You can use it for your hair, you can use it for mouth pulling, which is this thing where you put some in your mouth and it's like, all the bacteria out. So coconut oil can be used for so many different things. So I just like to cook it with the pan because it also gives it that good coconut taste. Uh, so yeah, here's my pepper. And so for this, all you're going to need to do is just cut down the middle. But I always just like to get the core out first. So you just go around like this. It doesn't have to be pretty because you're not going to be using anything with it. Just cut a big circle and then pull the center out. So these are all the seeds that you're gonna see and you don't want these in your food because when you go and bite on the pepper, it's like really hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and just toss those in the trash. So to make the pepper taco, all you have to do is just cut it in the center. So you're gonna go like that, just cut it, and it just makes two halves, so just like this. Then I'm gonna, since I already cooked this in the oven once, all I need to do is microwave this real quick. So another trick is if you put a hole in the center of your meat or in the center of anything you ever put in the microwave, it actually heats faster. So fun fact of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the microwave real quick and I'm going to put it on for a minute. Okay, so by heating it up, it's not going to heat it up all the way because it's only for a minute, but it just makes it a little bit more easier to put into the pepper. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to grab my fork real quick. Got my fork real quick, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just stuff the pepper. But first, so whenever I cook with anything, I like to use tin foil, like if it's cookies or a pepper, because if you put tin foil, tin foil into the um, the pan, that means you don't have to clean it up afterwards. You just throw it away, which is awesome. Because if you know one thing about me, you know I hate doing dishes. You can ask my roommates. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just place the peppers in here, just like this. And then I'm going to just start scooping the meat into the peppers. So I wash my hands, so that's why I'm touching the meat. Otherwise, no bueno, I wouldn't have been touching it. So what's nice about this meal, too, is if you don't want to wait to cook in the oven, the pepper's technically okay to eat now because the um, meat is already cooked. But I like to put it in the oven because it gives it a little bit more of a tender feel and it's a little easier and yummier to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven. So while we wait for the pepper to cook, I'm going to go ahead and make some homemade salsa. So I'm going to use this blender called the Magic Bullet. This is my roommate's. It's not mine, but I use it all the time. And you don't have to use one this expensive. You know, you can use a cheaper blender, but I just like this one because it's really fun to watch. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to have some ingredients. I have some um, pe peppers and tomatoes and onions. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the blending machine. Put it on in. Dice it up for you. And here we go. Instant fill. Thanks to Mr. Bullet. Now I have some really good salsa. I'm going to go ahead and grab the plate and chips from under the cabinet. I'm going to just take a few out. I brought these from home. Don't tell my roommate. Pour these on the plate and then pour some of this on here. Hopefully it's good. Okay, let's try it out. Mmm, it's not even that bad. Bad on the back for me. So I had to wait a long 30 minutes, agonizing 30 minutes because it smells so good. I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the oven. Mmm, it smells so good. I'm so excited to eat it. So now that that's cooked, I'm going to go ahead and get the peppers and put them on the plate. It's kind of an odd shape, so they're going to wiggle a little bit. So these are done, but I want to add some cool stuff on top. So I always get this holy guacamole at Kroger. It's my favorite stuff. You know, you can just make your guacamole from home, but I'm not that fancy. So I'm going to go ahead and, so this is just a little bit cheaper. So just get the fork and just dump some on there. I think guacamole can go with anything. It's delicious. Why it's holy guacamole. So dump some on there. You can also use sour cream or Greek yogurt for a healthier substitute, but I don't really love sour cream. It's not, it's not my fave. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some lettuce on here, an onion, and some cheese on top. Eat the taco. Oh my god. It's so good. It's really good. Don't be jealous. Yeah, so this was just an affordable, easy, yummy treat to make. And that's just all about college is that you have to just learn what you spend money on. And this was not that expensive of a meal at all. So thanks for watching me make a healthy meal. And come with us next time to watch us make some more food. And back to you guys in the studio. Mm. That looked amazing. I Something that I was wondering, can you put chicken in that instead, or maybe some ranch or something like that? I'm um, sure you could, but the way I do it, she cuts hers. Mm -hmm. I keep like the whole pepper, like literally, and just stuff it until it can't yeah. be stuffed anymore. Yeah. Like, well, being Hispanic, like this is a very common meal, but it's like stuffed, it's stuffed peppers, like yeah. you said. Um, and we put everything in it. We, right. Like, <laughs> this is just like a huge, big old bowl of food mm. in a pepper. And then we usually just cut it up from there. Yeah. But I don't know. Have you ever had it? I've only had it once. My dad made it for a Super Bowl watch party. Mm -hmm. and But he cut them really small to where they were like, um, you know, potato skins. Oh, cool. Oh. But they were like really spicy. I don't know. He just like spicy. He probably used like jalapenos he or something. He didn't tell me. And I, I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> he didn't tell me. But, you know, but they were like really good. But I don't know what he used. I don't know if he mm -hmm. used chicken or not. So I'm not really sure. But last time I had them, they were very good. Very mm. cool. Some okay. fun stuff. Sometimes when they tell you it's spicy. It's <laughs> fun, but. So you watch this usually, like, or you eat this during football watch parties? Usually. It's, it's really small snack finger food. And speaking of Super Bowls, speaking of Super Bowls, we have our s football segment coming up shortly. Stay tuned.
professor can uh, can you help me here? I, I wrote all this down in class, and uh, well, when it came to the homework, I just uh, would you mind going over some of it again, please? In time and Paris. Hello? Are you even listening? I need help. For you, college isn't just about earning a degree. It's about earning their respect, getting their attention, and setting an example for them. That's why our programs are designed for you and them. Austin P. State, you keep earning a living and living your life, all while earning your degree. Austin P. State University's ROTC program ranks among the top in the nation. Cadets strive to succeed as a scholar, athlete, and as a leader. Scholastically, the ROTC program maintains a 3.3 GPA. Daily physical training develops the cadets mentally and physically. All leader training is focused at the Leadership Development and Assessment course. In the past three years, 40% of Austin P. Cadets have received an excellent leadership evaluation at LDAC, exceeding the national average by over 20%. If you believe you have what it takes to be a scholar, athlete, and a leader, join ROTC at APSU. This weekend, APSU experienced their first home game of the season, and Austin's Angels went out on the scene to report all the excitement. Let's take a look. All right, so are we supporting Govs today? Yes, I am. We sure are. Is this your first game? Well, my first home game, my first year here. So. Very exciting. So he's a freshman? Yes, ma'am. What position? Wide receiver. Very nice. Yeah. Why don't you show us your favorite victory dance? Uh, Yay! Uh, did, I, did you get it? Uh, uh. <laughs> well, I heard you had some issues with tickets. Yeah, I couldn't get in because uh, we made last minute arrangements, so I got to pay for a ticket. All right. Well, so. since you were our very first interview of the day, mm -hmm. I have one for you. Way to go, Austin P. See? <laughs> There you yeah. go. Have fun, and I hope you enjoy the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, we are here with Sky in front of the Forterra Stadium, home of the Governors. How do you feel about the new season coming up? What did well, you expect? Well, it's, uh, it's going to be really exciting. I think Coach Healy, has, uh, he's brought a lot of excitement to the community. I know he's done a real good job recruiting. I know he's got a great recruiting class coming in this year, and I think it's going to be pretty exciting about the recruiting class coming in next year. How do you feel about the atmosphere at the stadium currently? In what are you expecting from the fans today? Well, I, I think facilities-wise, I think Austin P is as good as anybody in the conference. Uh, we saw some of the draws for the uh, weight room coming up, the new weight room that they're building. Uh, I think just uh, when you look at the campus, you look at how they're taking care of the campus and, and the excitement of the students, I think, has been really exciting to watch. You know what I'm saying? Mean but I just do a, little, I do a quick little dab player. and, you know, <laughs> And we'll call it a day, but we're glad to be here today. Thanks for having us up. Hey, I'm here with Ryan from Tenova Healthcare. You're handing out water bottles, you said? We are. Tenova Healthcare, uh, Clarksville is one of the sponsors of tonight's game. Uh, and we're here handing out water bottles to the first uh, thousand fans through the gates tonight. That's awesome. Um, what are you most looking forward to tonight? Uh, hopefully an Austin P. win. Yeah. Hey, we're here with two possible APSU recruits. What are your names? Desmond Chambers. Jordan Mason, running back for Galton High School. <laughs> so what position do you play? Uh, wide receiver. Matter of fact, I'm all around. You know, I'm all around the field. Defense and offense, special teams. Anything you can name, I'm on it. All right. All right. Not too modest, are we? No. Not at all. So what's interesting you about Austin P? The coaches, the players. I mean, I just like the atmosphere. You have the girls. You have all that. Everything. So the girls is what's interesting him. How about you? Um, you know, the football players are very, they get around with us, so, you know, I like that. And the girls, like he said, are very cute around the. So we're not girl crazy yet here at all or anything. All right, you guys have seven seconds from when you get the football and show us your favorite touchdown dance. <laughs> Ily, 
Ariana Cafe on here at Fort Terra Stadium with some younger fans. What are your names? Drew. Hanalise. Oliver. Oliver, who made your sign? Uh, ha, um, uh, Pops. Pops. Yeah, that's exciting. Who are you guys here to support? Uh, our brother, my, well, my brother, number 90, Jason Williams. Very nice. What position does he play? Defensive end. Very cool. Is it exciting to be out here for family? Very exciting, very exciting. We love it. <laughs> Hello, so I'm Shatara. And I'm Lamar. And today we are at the Fort Terra Stadium for the Austin P game versus T Tennessee Tech. Come on, follow me so we can get our best touchdowns. All righty, guys, we have... Oh, you want that first? Today. Christine Cornell. Christine. Casey. And they're here to do their favorite um, champ for the first football game of Austin P today. Let's see it, guys. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Hello, so we're here with... Tony Avitabli. And he's going to do his favorite touchdown dance. I'm going to do my favorite, I just scored a goal because my daughter's a soccer player dance. And she scores and then runs out like. Hey guys, I met up with Lamar and we're here with some previous football players. What's your name? Kelvin Young. Brandon Mays. So what position y'all play? Uh, free safety, strong safety, defense. <laughs> Wide receiver. Very cool. So what are your guys thinking about the outcome today? Uh. Man, hopefully we pull one out, man. We never had any problems with Tennessee Tech. Uh, hopefully we uh, keep that tradition going. Go ahead and give them something to uh, cry about on the way back to Cookville. <laughs> yeah, we never lost to Tennessee Tech when I was here, so I don't see that happening today. What about your coaching staff? Who was your coaching back then? Oh, uh, man, back in the day we had Coach McCray, uh, Coach Christopher, who is now with the Arizona Cardinals as a tight end coach, uh, Coach Damon Sidney, who just played with the Tennessee Titans. He was a secondary coach. Uh, Coach Brendan Gregory, who was a D lineman back at Eastern Kentucky, All American. So we had some pretty good coaches back in the day. Who was your favorite coach? Uh, I'll probably say Marcus. Marcus Gilstrey was probably one of my favorites. He was a position coach for the receivers. All but right. Probably I think Lamar has a favor of you. Yeah. So um, if y'all were to score a touchdown, what would be y'all best like dance to show it off? <laughs> best uh, dance to show it off? Yeah. yeah. What's your best pose? Oh, come on, B. Uh, uh, okay. What can we give him, B? You, can, you, 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 get, you get a penalty in college. He so. scored all the touchdowns. I was on defense. I, I, I knocked the ball uh, down. Go ahead. Give me the best no, touchdown. No, that's all you I'll hold your cup. Ready? Uh, Five, four, three, two, uh, one, go. There we go. Yeah. That's, well, that's what we like to see. Let's give it up for them. There you go. Hey, I and I think these are yours. All right, Shatara and I are here with more Greek members. Who are you guys representing? Pi Kappa Alpha, baby, of course. Alpha Omicron Pi. Pi Kappa Alpha. <laughs> Pi Kappa Alpha on you. All right. What is your guys' favorite football memory? Uh, all right, I got it. All right, so whenever we beat Murray State my yeah. freshman year, the, the Rashawn scoring a touchdown. Oh, yes, Rashawn scoring a touchdown, Rashawn. definitely. You got to show love. I love him, too. <laughs> all right, let's see your guys' favorite. Actually, we're going to split it up. All right, you're going to compete. Okay, best touchdown dance. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Okay, you guys got anything better than that? Hey. Hey, go for it. Let me see it. Alrighty, guys, we have some more good fans out here today. What's your name? Abney, Hannah, Jennifer. And they're going to show us their best Let's Go Peace uh, cheer. Let's see it, ladies. Let's go peace! Woo! There we go, yeah. And do you have a favorite like celebration end zone dance? There we go. <laughs> okay. And how do you think Austin Peay is going to do today? They're going to try their best. You know what? I'm feeling a win. Yeah. I'm feeling Same a win here. Right same now. here. Let's get that W. Yay. There we go. There we go. What do you think? Yes. Let's go, Pete. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Hello. So we're here with Officer Outlaw and Rollins, and we're, they're going to give their opinions about the game. How do you guys feel about the game? I uh, heard a lot of good news about them. I was hoping that they would start off on a stronger note. We have new coach, new players. We had a strong recruiting class. Uh, maybe later on in the season they'll pick it up. Yeah, same. I mean, 
we've heard a lot of good things about the coach. Of course, you know, this is the second game of the season so far, so they've got a little bit to turn around, but I think they can do it. So I'm here with Austin's P, very own volleyball team. How are you guys today? We are good. Just got back from a tournament, so we're a little tired, but came to support our boys. All right, so how do you guys feel about the game? We just got here, so we're like, it's kind of like, we're not discouraged, you know what I'm saying? 28-0, like, there's a whole other half to be played. We're not worried about this. We believe the mission is still, in fact, possible. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not we're not phased by this. Tech can get out of here. We're not phased. You have a lot of pee pride right now. I'm feeling it. <laughs> All right, so he, we're here with Jack, Zach Efron, <laughs> and Elijah, and they're going to tell us their thoughts about the game. How do you guys think it's going? Uh, it's okay right now. Um, it could get better, but there's signs of improvement from last year, I think. So I think that's a plus. I think offensively, just getting the ball moving up and down the field, uh, getting the first first down. But, I mean, since last week, I think we have some signs of improvement, as, as Jack said. But, you know, just continue to get better every week, and uh, I think that should be all right. You know, we have potential. I think we're pretty good with that. Do you guys give any advice? Like, if you could give any advice to the players, what would it be? Probably to keep their heads up. Don't let this first half, you know, define the whole game. Come out the second half. Um, play your hearts out because you never know what could happen. Uh, it's a long game, and it's also a long season, so y'all just keep working. You know, you got to keep playing your game. All right, can you guys give your best let's go pee? Cheer. Come on. What you mean? Like, let's just yell, yeah, let's go pee? Yeah. Well, okay. Count of three, all right. Yeah. All right. Come down. You ready? Yeah. Go. One, two, three. Let's, let's go, go pee. pee. Let's go 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 pee. Woo! Let's go pee, baby. Let's go pee. Let's go pee, baby. Let's go pee. I'm Shatara Pryor, Emmanuel Williams, Lamar Allen, and I'm Ileana Capion. We're coming to you live from Forterra Stadium. We just ended our first home game. May not have been what we were expecting or what we wanted, but we want to wish the Govs best of luck in the next game. Let's go pee! Let's go pee! <laughs> <laughs> well, from group chat to yummy football treats and the football segment, I just I really enjoyed the segment, you guys. I really enjoyed having you guys on and getting to know you, and I'm super excited to see where we go this season. I know, I'm excited too. Yes, so make sure you follow us on all our social media pages so that you can keep up with everything going on on the show, and you never know, maybe you'll get a chance to be on TV too. Till next time, angels. Let's, Let's go, go pee! pee.